Det er rolig. Bra gjort nå, det var bra. Bra! Men, men Ludvig, jag ska få. Du tittar, jag har lagt, du tittar. 
Bra, Theodor! Gå i beina på han! Gå i beina på han! Det er bra, Tia!
Vi tar han som kaster. Du er veldig. Jeg kan få ballen etterpå. Han vil ha han igjen. Han vil ha han igjen. Han vil ha han igjen. Men dere spiller smart nå. Veldig bra. Det er bra. Er det boys taking our boys? Start det. Skondahulla here in Latvia. So this is the first game of the under-14s tournament, the third day of play, and the first game up today is Birmingham City of England versus Holman. Early start this morning. Normally kicks up half past nine, but today they've decided to start at nine, and hence why the commentary starting about ten minutes late today. Birmingham in the blue. Holman in the red there. Over at the Olympic Centre this morning, it's all changed around. Normally the final is the last game of the tournament, but today the final's early. Maybe Manchester City have to get an early flight home. Birmingham driving forward the number 11. It's got an opportunity here. Tackle sliding in, the referee's seen something there. And he's given the penalty. Couldn't see from this angle here. Did he go down too easily? The Holman player looks distraught. And who's going to take this one for Holman? Do they have a specialised penalty taker? We're not too sure. No one looks too confident. No one's got the ball in their hand at the moment. It looks like the Birmingham number 11 is going to take this one, in fact. So, actually, it's a, it's a penalty to Birmingham here, the number 11. He's waiting for the Holman goalkeeper to retrieve the ball. And here he steps up, just, just a short run up, three steps and confidently into the bottom corner of the net there. 1-0 to Birmingham. Come in, Holman. Come in. There is to be asked, you too. And that's the first goal of today's action. Goal scored by Birmingham City. Goal scored at number 11, Carly Hamilton. The result now is 1-0. So as you can hear over the tannoy, perhaps, the announcer just confirming that it was the number 11 who put that penalty into the back of the net. About 15 minutes into this first half. It's 25 minutes each way. Another fairly cold morning in the Latvian capital. Hovering around the minus three degrees mark this morning. 
bit icy on the roads driving down from Yelgovo, where I live, the fourth biggest city um, in Latvia. Birmingham punting it forward, but the Holman defender was under it. But Birmingham win it back again here. Twisting in the penalty box again. They've got to be careful this time. Referee sings something, and this time he's giving it the way of Holman. So Holman will be able to have a free kick here and clear their lines. Goalkeeper looking up. Big kick forward. But a Birmingham City player with his head underneath that one. And they bring them forward again. Ball bouncing around the edge of the 18-yard box there. Opportunity here for Holman to break. He's ghosted through the middle of the park. He's got a runner. He's played the right ball. Can he get onto the end of it? This is better football low from Holman. Looking up. Runner down the wing. But well cut out by the Holman defender there. Oh. Just caught his legs there. Nothing too much in it. But it gives Holman the chance to just compose themselves. And see if they can deliver something from this free kick just inside their own half. They've got three men committed forward for this one. But Birmingham have about five or six back, so it should be quite easy for them to defend here. Holman pushing another man forward as well now. But that free kick is over hit and wasted straight through to the other goalkeeper. Easy for him now. And Birmingham can bring the ball forward again. Just stroking the ball nicely across their back line. Patient play. Just looking for a gap in the Holman defence. The player there with no number taking control of the situation now. The Birmingham defenders look very composed on the ball. Able to bring the ball out from the back line with ease. They don't have to rush, they've got the one goal advantage this morning. <laughs> Home and are going to have to press a little bit more after the break. <laughs> Lil number 12 looking up, playing a nice one too, and hitting the line well as well. But the Holman 17 was sticking tight to the attacking player of Birmingham there and did well just to put the ball out on the far touch line. Nice play, he drove into the box. Nice ball into the middle, but there was just no runner helping him now. Big drive from the edge of the box, through the goalkeeper's legs. Mistake from the goalkeeper, but luckily he just got enough of his leg on it and got back and pulled it off the goal line now. Oh man, old man. Come on, ball. He got away with that one, the goalkeeper. That could have been game over. Come here. Well cut out. Lovely ball. He's made the run as well. The number two for Birmingham did very well there. Surging run. One, two interchange. But just the last chance of creating a shot shooting opportunity just deserted him.
Number 17 there, he's doing a good job over on the far touchline there, the, the right back. Sorry, the left back for Homan, I should say. Nice play. Is he offside? <laughs> Off the line from the defender. They were looking for the offside flag. It never came. And there was no hesitation from the Birmingham player there. Stroking it past the defender on the goal line and doubling the lead. Birmingham 2, Holman 0. So there the Tannoy announcer said it was the number nine who put the ball into the net. So the two players there next to each other in the semicircle, I should say the halfway line now. And they're the two goal scorers, the number nine and the number 11. Holman driving forward, the number nine with real purpose and intent. But Birmingham clearing it well again. Holman really have to commit more players forward now. They've got a two goal deficit. And Birmingham are on top, just approaching the halfway mark in this game. A couple of minutes before half time. And look, there's lots of space here for Birmingham, no one really closing him down. And that's a fantastic ball, opening up the Holman defence. Number two's playing really well for Birmingham at the moment. And that's, oh, he nearly played a fantastic ball through the gap there, but it was just cut out at the last moment by the toe. Oh, and he's kept on side. He's done really well there. But again, Birmingham defending really well. And they can bring it forward again. Nice idea, but the execution was just not there. It's end to end now. It's turning into a really exciting game. And another great ball through. First time shot from the number 12. And again, the defenders got back and cleared it from the goal line. Otherwise, if that goal would have gone in, that would have been game over. Still 2-0 here to Birmingham City of England. Just approaching the halfway mark in this game. 25 minutes each way, remember, at this age, under 14s. Birmingham want to kill this game before half time. Okay. Can have a go. He's hit it. Goalkeeper needed to get his body behind that one. And he did. Referee's having a look at his watch. There can't be too much left in this first period. I wonder what the Holman manager is going to say to his players at the half-time to change this situation. There's the half-time whistle. Birmingham 2, Holman 0. We'll be back shortly. Second half of this first game on this final day of play in the under-14s age group of the Riga Cup 2018. First game up today, you can see on the pitch right now, Birmingham in the blue from um, England, from the Midlands in England, the second biggest city. And Birmingham after London in England, playing Holman of Norway. Birmingham leading, 2-0 at the break and playing the better football 
and having more position of the ball as well. Let's see what Holman can do. They're going to have to commit more players forward. Just a slip on the ball there from the number six. He recovered, but this gives Holman an opportunity. He's had a goal from a long way out. Wrong, op wrong opportunity there, really. Took the wrong option. Yeah, players on, maybe three on two. But he elected to go with the long drive, and it was high and wide there, unfortunately for him and his team. Both these teams finished third in their groups. Berman, and that was a bit of a surprise. I think most people would have said before the tournament they would have won that group. But they suffered a big loss at the hands of a Finnish side, Karpa, I believe. And Holman came third in their group as well. They both had a win yesterday in the playoff match. And that's what brings them here into this playoff match. I think it's seventh and eighth place they're playing for here today. So here's Berman with a corner. And the Holman player got his head to the ball first. Five players surrounding the Birmingham player there, giving him no time on the ball. And he's caught him late there, the number nine. And Holman were a bit fortunate there because if Birmingham would have been able to get the ball, they were about three or four on one on the far side. Holman with an opportunity! He's done, he did so well, the goalkeeper came out. Maybe should have been given a goal kick, the goalkeeper thinks so. The referee's changed his mind. He, he pointed for a corner, but he saw everybody thought it was a goal kick. I thought it was a goal kick, so he did well to change his mind now. Oh, a bit of a wrestling match on the field there. Be nice. Referee just broke that one up, gave the, gave the free kick. But just before that, there was a real opportunity for Holman to half the deficit. But the goalkeeper for Birmingham, the number 13, he did ever so well to close and narrow the angle. And he did well to get down that and, and was very brave to get down at the Holman forward's feet there. Still 2-0 to Birmingham. About three minutes into the second half. 25-minute halves, remember. So there's just over 20 minutes left in this one. Good idea, but well cut out and well read by the home and defender there. Very physical contest now. The referee might have to go into his pocket soon and produce the yellow card. It's been very physical in the first three minutes of the second half. Bit of wrestling, bit of grappling, a bit of pushing, a bit of shoving. It shows how much this game means to both sides. Not just playing for pride, but playing for position as well. Another trip there, referees played the advantage. And yeah, he tried to play the advantage once or even twice there. But there was to be no advantage, so he's pulled it back. And here there is a free kick in a very dangerous position, just outside the 18 yard box. And it's, it looks like it's gonna be a left footed player who's going to be taking this one. It's definitely a benefits a left-footed player, this angle here. The Holman goalkeeper trying to line up his wall. And he's elected to go low, but the wall did its job. Try to head it back in there for, for one of his players to get on the back post and head it in. But no one took the chance, no one gambled. And he drifted out for a Holman goal kick. Coffees are being delivered early on today. I can't multitask, unfortunately. I was being offered a coffee there, but holding a microphone and a coffee at the same time might be dangerous. So um, they elected not to give me that delicious looking latte. Um, yeah. Still 2-0 to Birmingham in the blue. We saw Birmingham out here last week as well in the under-13s. Just losing that final, they were so disappointed. 
but it's great to see some of these more established English sides making the long journey over. Manchester City are here in this competition as well. They're in the final this morning over at the Olympic Centre against the Lithuanian side, who shocked this competition really, making it through to the final. Real shock was Zenit not making the final. Last year they won, I think, seven out of the eight age groups. So it's a real shock that they never even made the final this year. Three runners in front of him, he's done very well. Holman player has gone down. And a late challenge there again from the Birmingham player. Referee's going over to check that the Holman player's all right. The physio stroke manager stroke trainer wanders onto the pitch. Has a look. And hopefully he can continue in his match. Maybe he took a little bit of a whack of a trailing arm now. His supporters applaud him, support his bravery continuing in this game. The referee's checking. Maybe he just has to leave the field. Maybe there's a little bit of a cut. Oh, he just wanted him to wander off the pitch and now he can come back on again. You know that rule, if a player gets treated, he has to leave the field of play. So he's now back on the pitch and continuing. Pull back there. Yeah, referees tried to play the advantage, but he couldn't. And there's a free kick in a dangerous position there. Number 11 for Birmingham is a bit lucky. They threw the ball away. Maybe another referee would have had a word with him there or brandish the yellow there's, there's probably about seven Holman players in the box here whipped in low yeah wasted there there were lots of players at the back post waiting for fl for flighted delivery but he elected to go to the near post and it was it was well wired and weak at the same time Still Birmingham with a comfortable advantage. Two goal advantage at the moment, 2-0. And the time and the clock is ticking down. Can Holman find a way back into this game? <laughs> Snapping at his heels, a Holman player. And again, Another free kick and the 11 again, so he has to be careful. <laughs> What's he going to do this time? Is he going to is he going to go for goal again, or is he going to try to pick out one of his teammates? The Birmingham goalkeeper trying to line up the wall. It's a two-man wall. Trying to protect that near post. He's gone long this time. Better ball in, but the goalkeeper read it well and came out and claimed it safely. So we've got another three games coming up after this one today. So stay tuned on focus.tv wherever you are watching in the world. Nice ball up the line. Trying to get the Holman defence to turn. The pass was just, just a bit too weighty, too much, too much on it. And the nippy little winger just couldn't get onto the end of it. Press up, press up, press up, press up. Press up, press up, press up. 
taking a chance there but doing it well. Very composed on the ball. Holman player skipping past one, skipping past two. Can he skip past the third? He did well there, putting the Birmingham defence under a lot of pressure. Holman now pressing the full length of the pitch. In the first half, it was just looks like they were pressing in their own half, but now they've really got to go for it. Number nine holding it up well, bringing his teammates into play. Having to go back to his goalkeeper there and start again. This is good possession from Birmingham. Very calm, very patient. Ooh. Little bit more on that and he would have been clean through. Nice play from the Birmingham play. Can he pick a pass? Overhit that, unfortunately, for him. There were two or three runners there giving him options. And the Holman goalkeeper has it in his hands now. He kicks it straight up the middle of the park. High. Again here, if you can't see what happened there, there's, there's a metal wire running along the centre circle. Um, the centre line here, and sometimes if it's hit high in the air, it will hit this wire um, as it did there. So that's why maybe a footballing style of keeping it on the ground is more beneficial in this arena. It's a late challenge. Holman play has gone down again, overstretching when challenging the Birmingham player there. The referee's allowing play to continue. Birmingham looking for a goal there, and he's gone out for, for a corner there for Birmingham, so they, they can get the physio on, and he can check on the Holman player who's gone down. Yeah. Holman having a couple of injuries in the second half. It's been a long tournament, three days of action. This is the fifth game I think each side has played. Playing one game in one week for me tires me out, let alone five games in three days for these under 14s. They're going to go home and have a very good sleep tonight, no doubt. High corner whipped in, looking for the head. And it's a penalty. Not sure what for, maybe there was a bit of holding in the penalty box. And there's a card brandished, looks like a yellow. Maybe you can rewind that on TV and see what happened there. He's very unhappy with the decision. Must have been some holding or grappling in the box there. And this gives Birmingham the opportunity to finish this game now. It looks like they've changed the penalty taker for this one. I believe the number 11 took the first one. So the, the little number 12, he's going to come up and try to get his name on the score sheet. He's done ever so well. Great penalty. The goalkeeper dived the correct way, but he just hit it past the outstretched hand into the bottom corner. And that's 3 0 to Birmingham, the goal scorer, the number 12. He looks delighted with that goal. He's very happy. And that's the best place to hit a corner, bottom corner. As close to the post as you can. So we're 15 minutes into the second half. 10 minutes left. And it's how many Birmingham are going to get now, I suppose. There'll be a pull in there from the goal scorer. Still got the adrenaline running through his body. Opportunity for Holman to pull one back. 
the Birmingham player will have to be strong here. Very calm play. And that's a good ball as well from the, from the young man at the back. He's a very calm presence at the back. The man with no number. And that's easy for the Birmingham goalkeeper there, straight through to him. And this young man, he's having a great game at the back. Being held again. Number 47, very physical player, too physical. Great ball, first time. But offside is called. And if you're just joining us, you're tuning into a very exciting game. Birmingham, three, Holman, nil. Birmingham in complete control now. And ending the tournament in very good fashion. They've improved as the tournament has gone on. The first day really cost them the opportunity of winning this tournament. And the number 12, the goal scorer, is skipping through another opportunity. He's found his man. But just a little bit of a miscontrol there from the number nine up front cost him the opportunity of extending the lead. But that's great play from the number 12 again. Ghosting through the middle of two Holman defenders and picking out his man in the middle as well. Really, that goal he scored is giving him all the confidence to push on and try to create some more opportunities and goals for himself as well. Good play from the Birmingham number two, driving forward and finding his teammate. Again, he's being held by three players there. Referee trying to give him the advantage, but it just isn't. And the free kick is awarded again. Taken quickly and short. Many options here for Birmingham. They can go back. Going across. Patient play. This is nice football. Oh, he's giving it away, though. The young man at the back. Poor opportunity for Holman. Again, he's done well to get himself out of trouble. That's maybe one area he needs to work on. In the air. He looks very composed on the ball. I was very surprised with his missed header there. What can the number two do here? It's fell out to the number 12. Nice play, spreading the play from right to left. He's gone for the goalkeeper, he spotted him off his line. Tried to dink it over the top of his head, but he just drifted agonizingly wide of the goalkeeper's far post there. So Birmingham unable to extend their free goal advantage. Approaching the last five minutes now in this one. We've got another game coming up at 10 o'clock. So immediately after this one. And we've got another two games coming up as well. So there's three more games left in this tournament today. Great ball, real opportunity. The defender did well, the number 28 getting back and diverting the ball off the number nine's foot and out for a corner. He did ever so well, the Holman player there, to get back because it looked like he was going to be a one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper there for the Birmingham number nine. 
another corner for Birmingham. High ball. Can he find a Birmingham head? Just drifting out to this near touchline here. Birmingham trying to retrieve it and create something else. Good football there from Birmingham. Driving forward again, holding his shirt. The referee's had enough of this. The yellow card comes out. There's been a lot of holding from Holman in this second half. You can see frustration is getting the better of them now. I think they just want the referee to blow the final whistle and get them off the pitch. When you're losing 3-0, you just want to get out of there. Birmingham will want to try to add to their advantage here. Short play, can he get a good ball in? It's looked up. Into the middle of the box. And Homan has just done enough to clear that one. And Birmingham will try to build something again. Spreading the play nicely from the far touch line to this near side. Snapping away again. Holman could easily have been a free kick there. Putting himself under a lot of pressure, but doing enough and doing well to find a player in the centre circle. Into the box of number two. Pulled it back. And it's still in there, bobbling around. Again, Birmingham. They're not afraid of coming back to create something. Number 12, the third goal scorer he's looking up he's trying to create something is that a pull again again he's just bobbling around Holman can't clear but hit very wide there nearly out to the corner flag and the opportunity goes last two minutes of this match Birmingham really impressive this morning in this first game Can Holman get a consolation? Nice ball there. Nice triangle of play. And Birmingham elects to pull back there. The defender here from Holman, he wants more players to go forward to give him more options. Big kick up the middle of the park. And a good head from the Birmingham player there. Bursting through. And he was having his shirt pulled again there, but he was just the blind side of the referee. Referee didn't see it. And the corner has been awarded. This is a real opportunity for Holman to get their consolation. Are they going to load every man into the box? Is the goalkeeper going to come up? Again, they're not committing everyone forward, which is a bit of a surprise. Here comes the corner. Near post. A missed header there. And he's had a drive from a long way out. Oh, Did he take a nick on the way through? No, it's drifted out safely for a Birmingham goal kick. And we're into added on time now in this one. Referee's looking at his watch. Hopefully it hasn't stopped. And there it is, that's the end of the game, the first game of this final day of play. Birmingham really impressive in this one. The final score, Birmingham three. Holman nil.